Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh boy, who's that guy? Is that a Holy Cross kid? Being smart? <laughs> oh, he already passed him. <laughs> Guarantee it, he goes on way too fast of a pace. These guys are following me, I thought it was Jesus. <laughs> Feel the camera pressure. Yeah, I thought like you'd you'd sense the camera, so I pointed it at you. I was like, I was like, everyone could feel the camera. It's not a little quick. Well, first. He likes to go with some positives. Yeah, he does. <laughs> Oh, Sean's in this too. Oh boy. That's not bad. That's actually good pace. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to call your attention to the award stand for presentation of medals in the girls' shop play. Aaron's got to stop being a front runner, though. In third place from Honesdale, with a foot of 32 feet 11 inches, Megan Holbert. In second place from North Pocono, with a foot of 33 feet 9 inches, Kaylin Mead. And in first place, with a winning throw of 34 feet, one and a half inches from Dunmore, Why don't I Kayla just go Bullen. Like that? Congratulations, I was like Kayla. Down. Congratulations, ladies. We have results from the girls' 800 meter run. In eighth place, Hannah Tuffy of Lakeland. Seventh place, Tori Leg of Valley View. Sixth place, Megan Connors, Dunmore. Fifth place, Samantha Benici, Montrose. Fourth place, Aaron Craig, Hosdale. Third place, Stephanie Lelos, Abington Heights. Second place, Chelsea Mann, Walla Paul Pack area. First place with a winning time of 2 minutes, 23.75 seconds from Blue Ridge, Allison Hall. Will Allison Hall, Chelsea Mann, and Stephanie Lelos please report to the award stand. I'm still going to be doing workouts because I'm doing the Memorial Day race. So I told Burn that we could like, meet up if you want to meet up. I, I'm, I'll be there tomorrow. we got to get some rest here. What do you mean? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I want to start my... No, no, no. 74. Yeah, I don't know why you're doing it either, to tell you the truth. <laughs> but... No, but I mean, the season doesn't really end until... I would always start... Yeah, I understand. That means that your workout should start later as well. July, I do a race, I just do more of it. Do the race, that's your that's your baseline. After that, start feeling some other stuff to figure out where you're at. It's only two weeks after. Okay, what? What's the only two? Fourth of July? No, no, not the fourth of July. The Memorial Day. Oh, I think so. Yeah, sorry, sorry. No, no, that's fine. Yeah, you want to do something for that. Yeah. I mean, no, no, here, here's the thing. Um, oh, so you're not doing a half? No. Nah, too far nah. away, right? Yeah, too far away. Okay, well, five hours, did it? Did you look it up? No, I didn't. Oh, I just took your word for it. This is going in for a half marathon. Yeah, it was this guy. Right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh, I should have, dude, I'm telling you, just try and get in that New York one.
Who cares if it's close? <laughs> Because here, here's my thinking. Um, my last race across the country is going to be right before things. Like Ladies and gentlemen, we have results from the boys 200 meter dash. Like, oh, yeah, in eighth place, in eighth place, no, no. Kyle Lanuski no, no. of Big Valley. No, no. Seventh place, <laughs> Robbie Sapari of Western Wayne. Sixth place, Paul Almeida, North Pocono. Fifth place, Matthew Weiler, Mountain View. Fourth place, Andrew Nelson, Holy Cross. Third place, Mike Fazio, Valley View. Second place, Kyle Rickard, home sale. And in first place, with a new stagnant meet record of 22.18 seconds, from home sale, Lionel Wilson. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Lionel Wilson, Kyle Rickard, and Mike Fazio, please report to the award stand. What's the split? We have results from the girls' high jump. Eighth place, Delaney Reynolds of Mid Valley. Tied with Rachel Marsilli of Scranton Prep. In seventh place, Alex Lewis, Montrose. Sixth place, Amanda Krenitsky, Western Wayne. Fifth place, Emily Holtzman, Scranton Prep. Fourth place, Courtney Cromko, Western Wayne. Third place, Maggie Fuhan, Abington Heights. Second place, Tori Doyle of Lakeland. And in first place, with a, a jump that ties a meet record at 5 feet 4 inches, from Homesdale, Audrey Calkin. So Audrey Calkin, Tori Doyle, and Maggie Fuhan, please report to the award series. We've been doing some... Uh, like more 5k workouts. It's very similar. Last, last year we were doing a workout week. Ladies and gentlemen, may I call your attention to the award stand for, for nothing. Yeah, they're when they were announcing the times, oh, they went to the hundreds. Once again, to the award stand for presentation of wow, he got a lead in the boys' 200 meter dash. He, well, kind of in third place from Valley View with a time of 22.67 seconds. Mike Fazio. What? I don't see Jake anywhere. They're yelling stuff at him. In second place from Homestead. With a Such time of 22.59 yeah, seconds, Kyle Ricker. Jake's over there, about a 200, isn't he? Yeah, he is. And a familiar name and face on the award stand with another record. 22.18 seconds for Lionel Wilson of Homestead. Keep your watch running after he goes Congratulations, through. Lionel. Outstanding. Congratulations, gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Aaron killed this. Uh, 3K in like 9. 12. I can't see without 2 minutes. He ran, what did he run in 2 minutes? He broke 9, didn't he? Yeah, he broke 9. Just by a bit. Yeah, it was like not 8.59. Ladies and gentlemen, once again to the award stand for presentation of medals in the girls' 800 meter run. In third place from Abington Heights with a time of 2 minutes, 24.88 seconds, Stephanie Lelos. Yeah, I know. 
Uh, in second place from Wall and Paw Pack area for a time of 2 minutes 24.05 seconds, Chelsea Mann. And in first place with a winning time of 2 minutes 23.75 seconds from Blue Ridge, Allison Hall. Yeah. Congratulations, Allison. Congratulations, ladies. Damn. All these kids are faster than me. Yeah.